the state of New Mexico contains a number of fascinating geologic oddities. These range from the pure white sand dunes of White Sands National Park to the Valles Caldera supervolcano north of Albuquerque. In the northwest corner of the state on the Navajo Nation is one such oddity. There, a massive monolith of rock towers above the seemingly flat landscape of the Colorado Plateau. Known simply as ship rock, this mass of rock represents the solid magma chamber of an ancient volcano. So, how did this unusual feature form? Why is it surrounded by a series of seemingly straight lines which rise from the ground? This video will answer these two questions and discuss this fascinating geologic wonder. Ship rock towers to a height of 1,583 feet or 483 meters above the surrounding landscape. It has very sharp edges and a steep overall slope related to its unusual formation. This landmark originated approximately 27 million years ago when an unusual series of volcanics referred to as the Navajo Volcanic Field were erupting across parts of Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, and Colorado. At the time, the Farallon Tectonic Plate was subducting underneath the North American Plate at a very shallow angle. Melted material from this collision then migrated upwards before erupting on the surface, thus forming this chain of volcanoes. The lava which was ejected during these eruptions was quite unusual as they had an unusually low silica content and were called minette. 27 million years ago, the desert landscape surrounding what is now Shiprock was 914 meters or 3,000 feet higher than it is today. As a large group of minette composition magma intruded into the crust, it began heating the surrounding nearby rock. This heat soon transferred in part to abundant groundwater in the region, which subsequently flashed to steam. Since steam takes up a greater volume than the same amount of water, it caused an immense amount of pressure to build. Eventually, this pressure became too great and the ground exploded upwards in what is termed a phreatic eruption. Pyroclastic flows subsequently swept across the landscape, traveling several kilometers before they stopped. Large amounts of rock ejected by the explosion soon fell back to the ground, solidifying as a rock type known as breccia. What remained at the site of the eruption was a large crater in the ground called a mar. Despite the eruption which had just taken place, the underground magma chamber never truly reached the surface. It soon solidified as a mass of material, forming the approximate shape of the modern ship rock. While this was occurring, the still cooling molten rock intruded into surrounding cracks and faults in the crust. The magma partially filled these cracks, forming a near-vertical igneous intrusion today known as a dike. Today, Shiprock is surrounded by six of these dikes which seemingly jet over the surrounding landscape as the hardened lava was more resistant to erosion than the adjacent sedimentary rock. One of these dikes is 8 kilometers or 5 miles long, indicating just how far the magma moved away from the main mass of material. In the millions of years since, the ground above the solidified magma chamber eroded away, removing more than 2,000 feet thick of rock. Eventually, the solidified minette magma became visible as it was far more resistant to erosion than the surrounding sandstone and limestone layers of rock. Eventually, the dikes also became visible. Today, this towering landmark is considered sacred to Navajos and thus should not be climbed. However, it can be seen and photographed from US Route 64 or US Route 491, which both pass relatively close to this astonishing landmark. In a way, it is quite similar in origin to the famous Devil's Tower in Wyoming. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon.